Yo, what's up guys? It's X-Rays and welcome to a new episode of Ultimate Class Setups. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the LSAT LMG. We're going to try to build upon its strong points and try to balance out some of its weaker points to make this just a very potent LMG, something that you can take to basically any range. Now, before I jump into the class setup, I want to really quickly mention, if you guys are new and you enjoy this kind of content, including weapon breakdowns, comparisons, reviews, and of course, live commentaries with the weapons themselves, then remember to subscribe. I do upload daily calls duty ghost content so remember to subscribe so you won't miss a single video now anyways with that being said let's jump into the actual class loadout first of all i am using the lsat and i decided to use two attachments on it i decided to use foregrip to just make it so that it's the most accurate weapon it can possibly be and the secondary is a silencer now the reason i'm using the foregrip that's because all LMGs tend to have a bit of recoil, and the LSAT already has decent accuracy, so when you toss the foregrip on it, it's just make this thing a laser, man. This thing just destroys people. It's so accurate, especially when you burst fire it from a relatively far distance. Now, the reason I'm using the silencer is because most of my engagements are going to be at a distance. I'm going to be, especially since it is an LMG, I don't move quite as fast as some of the other weapons. I kind of want to make sure that my location is as concealed for as long as possible so I can get as many kills as I can before I have to actually move on to a new location. Anyway, so I decided to forego having a secondary, a lethal, and a tactical. I always do this with most of my classes because I feel that there's really no need to switch over to your secondary, especially with LMGs. They have so much ammo that you're really never going to find yourself in a situation where you're out of ammo or where you're really low on ammo and you have to switch over to your pistol. But now, anyways, with that said, let's jump into the perks that I have. The first one being sleight of hand. LMGs are notorious for having extremely slow reload times. When I use this thing, it really cuts its reload time down to half of what it normally is. It's just a must-have for any LMG. You're going to find yourself all the time, you know, wishing you had a sleight of hand on because you're going to find yourself in a situation where you took the, like, takes you anywhere from four to five seconds to reload your weapon you're gonna get killed within that time span it just happens all of the time the second perk that i'm using is going to be stalker the reason i'm using stalker is because again since using an lmg whenever you're adsing it really is a really really slow Whenever you're ADSing, it's really slow, and you want to kind of make sure that you're moving as fast as you can with LMGs, especially since you're going to be trying to strafe around corners. Stalker just makes it so that you are moving as fast as possible with LMGs and able to compete with some of the other weapons, like the assault rifles. The third perk that I have on here is going to be Scavenger. Now, the reason I use Scavenger is just, even though LMGs have a lot of ammo, I try to kind of make sure that I'm never running out of ammo. You never know when you're going to find yourself in a situation where you're running out of ammo or maybe you're like a kill away from like a really high kill streak if you're going to be going for smaller kill streaks or something that doesn't take as many bullets i would suggest you switch out scavenger and get rid of hardline and end up using quick draw that way you actually take advantage and try to make the weapon a little faster but if you are playing a little more intense trying to get some of the higher stuff that you normally wouldn't get i'll suggest that you do use scavenger and hardline it helps you get your kill streaks a little faster and it makes sure that you never run out of ammo now the other perk that we're going to be talking about is focus. This is a great thing to use in combination with the foregrip on the LSAT. It just makes it so even if you're in a gunfight with an assault rifle or you know any kind of uh, marksman rifle, anything like that where you find yourself in a very long-ended gunfight, you want to make sure that you're not losing any focus or that you're not bouncing around where you're trying to stay on target. It just makes it a much more lethal weapon. Now, anyways, for these strike packages, of course, if you don't feel comfortable getting something uh, too high in assault, then feel free to use support and makes it so you can get anything that you want uh, rather easily without having to worry about staying alive. Use, of course, assault kill streaks that you feel comfortable with. If you don't feel you can get, say, the battle hind, don't use the battle hind. Use something else like the SATCOM. And if you are going to be trying to get a chem strike, then remember to use the specialist loadout and try to just build it around making the LSAT a lot faster. Anyways, guys, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Ultimate Class Setups. If you did, remember to slap a like and a favorite on this video. Get it out there for other people to enjoy. And also, if you guys enjoy this kind of content and you're new, remember to subscribe. I do upload Call of Duty Ghost content daily, so make sure to subscribe so you won't miss a single video. Anyways, with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm X-Rays. I'm out. Peace.